This video is going to use a production possibility frontier to explain the concept of opportunity cost, which we use a lot in economics. There is a video about the production possibility frontier if you're not sure how this diagram works, but basically the red line is showing the possible combinations of good A and good B, which could be produced by the economy at a particular point in time. If all the resources of the economy are being used efficiently, the economy will operate somewhere along this red line. For example, they could be uh, operating at point X. At point X, the combination of products which are being produced are, there are 80 of good A being produced and 50 of good B being produced. If the economy decided that it had a greater preference for good B and it wanted to consume more of good B, the economy could move along its production possibility frontier to a new point, point Y. At point Y, the economy can now have 60 of good B, which they had a preference for, but there is less of good A which is being produced. Now we are only producing 40 of good A. In economics, we're always looking at the concept of Economies only have scarce resources and they must make decisions about how they use the resources that which they do have. So the economy only has enough resources to produce on this production possibility frontier and must make decisions as to which combination of good A and good B they will produce. And any time they make a change uh, or any time they make a decision, there is an opportunity cost of that decision. For example, in this economy, to move from 50 to 60 of good B being produced, the cost is the opportunity which they are foregoing by doing this. And in this example, the opportunity cost of moving from X to Y is a reduction in the production of good A from 80 to 40. So the opportunity cost of increasing of moving from point X to point Y and increasing good B from 50 to 60, the opportunity cost of that is 40 of good A. If we were to go into reverse and say that the economy is moving from Y to X, it is gaining 40 of good A. The opportunity cost of increasing from 40 to 80 is 10 of good B. And so because we only have scarce resources, there is always an opportunity which is foregone when we make a decision, and that's the opportunity cost, and we always have an opportunity cost when we have decisions made in economics.